everyone. It's Char from Char's Fashion Nation. I am wearing one of the dresses that I made. Um, the fabric that you saw me working with yesterday was a fabric that Viv sent me after I sent her the rest of this lovely blue stripey fabric with little ladybugs. So this is actually a sew from last year. But now that it's snowing outside, it's snowing outside, it's time to sew a jacket. So you guys remember I did cut this fabric. You guys know this fabric. Um, it is time to sew a jacket because it, it's extremely cold out there, 30 degrees. It was 18 degrees the other night. No. So this is how I'm going to do this is I am going to sew this fabric together first. This lovely indigenous American print. And then I will sew the denim onto the panel pieces as soon as I get them together. Which I think makes sense. The only... The other thing I'm going to do, find that. Where's the back? The back must be over here. Anyway, to back that up, <laughs> I have the sleeves already cut because you know we need sleeves for a coat. This is going to be really nice together. So what I'm actually going to do with the sleeving is. Before I sew down the sides, I'm already, I'm just going to go ahead and add the sleeving as soon as I sew at the um, shoulders. And then I will add this and we will get to that. So now that we're over here at the machine, just remember to leave your fabric out gently because we don't want to take a risk of tearing fabric and having it waste so I still have this on my serger setting which is going to be great for a jacket and remember keep your container for your pins next to you. If you're a beginner and you're working with a stripey fabric, I'm not a beginner. <laughs> remember, these stripes can be your guideline, but also remember to cut with the back of the fabric facing you, otherwise you can get really dizzy. <laughs> now, I got really dizzy when I was sewing the uh, Fabric Mart Palette eh, Panel Challenge because of the stripes in the fabric. But I'll tell you what, I ended up making three dresses for the Panel Challenge. They featured my pictures wearing the, you know, garments. And, you know, because I had to try two of them, well, three, but of them work for other people so sometimes I do so for other people so don't do what I just did do not do that I'm just doing that because I have to repin this and you don't want to like take a risk of accidentally swallowing a pin you can hurt yourself so don't do this <laughs> Yeah, definitely don't do that. So, let's get this back over here. And like I said, follow a line on your fabric. Makes everything go easier. Isn't that fabric bejeebious? Bejeebious. What am I thinking bejeebious? Because, oh, you know what it is? Probably because I have the beautiful eye palettes from Juvia's palette plate. Juvia's Palace. Jeez. Juvia's play. Yeah, 
guys, this time I'm actually going to show you the whole sew on this one. Um, because of the wonderful things it does. Okay, so we have that. And, you know, I still tried to upload, like, my first sew video for this challenge. And my little laptop is telling me no. But there's not enough room after I cleared it. <laughs> like, there's room on there, trust me. So, again, a clean hemline. And one that actually goes with the patterning in this fabric absolutely and that's gonna look great together so the next thing we're gonna do is pin on the sleeves get that on here and uh, now I cut this bigger than it should be on purpose um, I'm not too sure if I want to add a zipper I would have to seam rip a zipper out of an old jacket and, uh, you know, that takes like two hours later. <laughs> and I'm not doing that today. So I'm just going to do the jacket. I'll have the zipper later or I might attach buttons. You never know. So anyway, let me get those sleeves on there. I didn't realize what time it was when I started doing this. And it's actually my feeding time, so... It is. I try to regulate and not eat after six because I used to be diabetic. And that makes so much sense, doesn't it? I love the stress. Don't get me wrong. It's frozen outside, but I love the stress. It's warm in the house. Um, so, yes. I will finish this as soon as I eat. Yes. Uh, it's snowing outside. Okay, well, I ate something really good. My friend cooks for him and his kids. But since I waited out there because mysteriously his car battery was dead again. Mysteriously. We're just going to say that. Um, It's a new battery. It shouldn't be doing that. And it's hooked up proper in case you want to know. So I waited for so many hours later. <laughs> and he knew that I was watching the meat he was cooking while he was at the store. So he invited me to have, like, if you have any military background, you know what an SOS is. And it's not just a signal for help. Um, it's a food. But, yeah, anybody out there that knows what SOS is for military food, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry about my hair. You know what? No, I'm not. Because sometimes things can make your hair just so crazy. <laughs> so, anyway. it's Since it's cold out there. And he went to the store in a t-shirt. Shorts and flip-flops. <laughs> he didn't think he was going to be stuck there that long. Um, I made more coffee, and the coffee went with the SOS just perfectly, perfectly, and it was Army SOS, by the way. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't Marine or Navy SOS, not even Air Force SOS or Coast Guard. You know, people always forget about the Coast Guard. Oh, let me take care of this, and... We'll get back over to the fabric. Okay, so I have this one sleeve pinned on. Now, there's a reason that I do this so that there's no huge struggle with um, pinning this on while it's already sewn on the sides. Now, this makes more sense to do this than it does to go ahead and pin it. You know, I might add this 
Um, it's cute. It needs a waistband or something. Or a belt. Um, the reason I do this is because it's much easier to match it up to the armhole. Which is something that I would suggest doing with even a shirt. That way you can get it all matchy-matchy. And not have that problem with sewing it on. So most of the time you would have to hand sew this. Where this way you can machine sew. And I'm giving you tips here for you first time. My back hurts. <laughs> Sorry. I ain't expecting. No. That's just my fat. <laughs> um, but uh, this this dress design will be considered to be one of those baby doll dress designs but we're not here for that um, we are here for this um, like I was saying this is the better way to get your sleeve to match now right here I want to show you something where this part of the sleeve does not match up exactly with how this side fits on there so what you can do after you like get everything sewn is literally correct that piece of fabric or bring it down just slightly and just go ahead and pin it but other than that you would have to repin this whole thing I don't want to repin this whole thing quite frankly so you're going to take this lovely right here and now that we're back over here and this is one thing I like to do when I come over here to put something on the machine this is something that I do now because I don't like the thread hopping its way back up and that can happen so what I suggest doing is lower your needle into your fabric lower your foot sewing foot that is <laughs> and then start with a slow sew back stitch or reverse now you will soon see why I like to do it this way opposed to the other way which this to me like I said makes it so much more simple now Viv mom said she needed to learn something about how to do the cuff once you get everything sewn shut Viv I will be showing that in this video um so stay tuned for that <laughs> Which is something that, again, I learned from an elder. Um, hey, look, I hung out with my elders a lot because you know what? Elders have a lot to teach. They really do. So mind your P's and Q's around your elders and have some respect for their skills, their trade skills. <laughs> Because their trade skills passed down to you may actually better your life in the long term. So, let me get this sleeve. Now, you know, of course, I have to show you the hemline. Look at, look at that. Like I said, you know, this is the whole part of learning from other people, their trade skills. Learning a trade skill isn't a bad thing, especially when you can get a hemline like that. And um, so I'm going to go ahead, pin the other sleeve on, get that sewn, and then I wish I would have left the camera on just now. Because while I'm sitting over here pinning, a black shadow blocked out the light up here. Mm-hmm. Now something something that I want to show you is matching the side after I got the sleeves on here. Both sleeves are on now. And you want to match the sides. Remember, it's okay to have a little extra hair because you need that for moving your arm around. It certainly is. And look at how like that's nice. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, well here is the part that Viv wanted to learn. You don't have to put this on here because obviously that's not going to fit. So pay attention real quick, Viv. Um, I'm going to show you how to do this rolling your cuff back, right? And sewing that on because it does not fit around this part of the machine. Now, I know Viv said she wanted to learn this part. It's really not hard to do. Let me get this, this cuff right. Um, that could be the only like weird part of doing this is trying to make sure that your cuff is correct. And what you're going to do is something like, you know, putting it around here. Except for it's not around there. Again, this is something I learned from an elder. And now that we have it like this, pay attention. Okay, so basically what you're going to do with this is take it and just hold it in place. For beginners, I suggest you pin it. Um, that way you know that you have it correctly. Now, what you're going to do is make sure that you still have this just like you have the other part. And keep on sewing it around. Just keep on sewing it around and I will show you the rest of that in a moment. Okay, now you can see this better. So that's what it looks like on the outside. Of course, that's going to be really nice, especially after I clip all this extra back, right? Um, and you have a really nice, clean cuff. Now, that's what I wanted to show you, Viv. I know that it can be better lighting, but it's snowing out there and again. Not the best of lighting. You would think it would be, right? Because snow reflects light. There's, yeah. Now, I like to try on my garment, which you guys can see I'm basically drowning in this. Um, excuse me. So what I'm actually going to do before I do anything with this part, and that's why I hadn't touched the bodice part of this yet, is because what I need to do is check how far in I actually need to take this piece right on both sides and then do that so that my shoulder line for this is right here and that pulls that sleeve upward because right now this is very the drop sleeve and what happened Beetlejuice type moment, which Beetlejuice was on earlier today. Anyway, <laughs> I caught the end of it earlier. So what I'm going to do is, and this is why you try your garment on, um, is see how long the sleeve is. I don't mind a sleeve being a little bit long on me, but not like that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take care of this part. Finish this garment up, and then, because, like, who wants, like, your hand is, but that did come out nice. Even the seaming. Yes. Yeah, we're getting a collar on here, and it's going to be the front. I've decided, like, the pieces that I cut off are going to be reused for the collar because I had to take that in and oh what yeah remember that when you have that over there Ooh, that when you go to do the sleeves to take them up a little there is a design incentive that you have with that and that was something you will see at the end so I'm going to finish the collar see about some buttons for this and show you that incentive when it's done for that shoulder design which kind of looks like a western duster in a way and that'll go with this so one moment please so here is the finished product 
I hope you like this. The only thing it needs now is just like a couple of buttons and that's it. But you know what? This thing is actually done and it fits. So, if I want to, I can add in these lovely pockets that I have right here. I'm not worried about it being the way it is. To me, it's also kind of a like sporty blazer. It's beautiful. I love the print. And it's, you know, kind of weird that I got the print from Wally World, from Walmart. But this is going to be fantastic because, okay, the snow. Well, it's pet snow all night. And I'm not, sorry, this is from the way I'm posing with this. But, yes. I love, 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 love the blue in here. And I love the contrasting colors with it. This is going to be nice around the house, under another jacket. Um, I wish I would have had enough of this material to add a hood to it. That The next time I go to Wally World, I might get a little more of this fabric. Excuse me, and put a hood on it. But until then from an exo because it's cold. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed because there's always a lot of sewing left. And I will see you in the next one.